Well, let's speak now to journalist Oksana Gritsenko in Kiev. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Uh, what do we know about Vitaly Shishov, his death, and the work that he was doing in Ukraine? Uh, so Vitaly Shishov uh, came to Ukraine uh, last autumn. He comes from the town of Rechitsy in Belarus. Uh, he uh, was a head of uh, Belarusian House, which is a group of Belarusian activists who regularly organize rallies uh, here in Kiev uh, in protest against their political repressions in their home country. Uh, they uh, have these rallies with their uh, national uh, Belarusian flags. They organize also rallies uh, near the Belarusian embassy. And they also reportedly help the Belarusian, the other Belarusians to emigrate to Ukraine. We basically have uh, uh, officially thousands of Belarusians who emigrated to Ukraine, maybe even more. Uh, and uh, the Belarusian community is, of course, uh, shocked here. They uh, started immediately accusing Belarusian president uh, uh, Lukashenko for reprisal and for this uh, uh, murder. And uh, also a group of uh, uh, Ukrainian lawmakers today called on uh, uh, Ukrainian new interior affairs uh, minister Denis Monastirsky to take this uh, investigation under his own control uh, because of uh, um, importance of this uh, of this case. Uh, we know that Shishov left his um, house yesterday morning for a run, and he was reported missing. And now, uh, just a few hours ago, he was found uh, hanged in the park near his house. Uh, and police in is, is investigating this as a premediated murder. Uh, now, Oksana, the case of this Belarusian Olympic athlete is also really shining the spotlight on Lukashenko uh, and on the ongoing crackdown in Belarus. Yes, sure. This is another shocking situation when the Belarusian athletes, uh, Rane Kristina Tsimanovskaya, uh, uh, made public that the uh, authorities of Belarusian Olympic Committee was uh, uh, forcing her to make uh, the long, long relay race. While she wasn't prepared for that, she was uh, getting ready to do 100 or 200 meters run, and she complained about that, and then they tried to forcibly bring her uh, away from Tokyo to Belarus. She asked for help uh, from the uh, Tokyo police and she received this help. And uh, she uh, now received uh, the offers from several European countries to uh, get her asylum. And uh, uh, as far as we know, her husband is now in Kyiv. Um, so maybe she will also come to Kyiv someday. We'll see. And uh, we're also speaking about Belarus, uh, we also should mention the case with the Belarusian uh, uh, journalist Pavel Sheremet, who was uh, killed uh, in Ukraine in two, 2016. And he, this uh, uh, murder is still uh, uh, has no answers. So they're still unclear what happened and who did this murder. And one of the versions is that uh, Sheremet could have been the victim of his uh, uh, criticism of Belarusian regime for many years. All right, Oksana Gritsenko, thanks for that update from Kiev. Thank you.